All right, joining me now is Shale Risman, who is one of the many people raising money and funds during One Brave Night for the Center for Addiction and Mental Health. Uh, welcome. Thank you. So what is your connection to CAMH? Uh, my connection to CAMH, really, we've been gone going back certainly about 25 years. Um, my brother, Carrie, suffered from uh, pretty significant mental illness uh, back in the 90s and, uh, and had, you know, took advantage of the services from CAMH. Um, and eventually took his took his own life in January of '96. And since then, we have been, as a family, every time we do a fundraiser or anything like that, we end up donating. That money just gets funneled right into a, a fund set up with Cam H in his name. I'm I'm so sorry to hear about your brother. Oh, th- listen, this is this is what we're doing here, right? Is yeah. we're, we're we're spreading the we're spreading the news. We're eliminating the stigma. It was very mm-hmm. difficult for him. Uh, it was way more difficult for him 25 years ago than it is for people with mental illness now, and we're still only a fraction of the way to where we need to be in eliminating the stigma. So, and have you found your family and friends are far more open uh, to talk about? Yeah, everything? I mean, they. It, it was amazing. Even right after uh, his death, people started coming out of the out of the woodwork talking about their own issues, which they never did it now. And uh, because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm very public about my life in this uh, and, and my contribution to this, I, I'm being sought out on social media and, and stuff like that just for people asking questions mm-hmm. uh, about it. And, uh, you know, it's, I find that to be, you know, fulfilling for me. And certainly I feel like I'm, I'm living the values that my brother lived. So that's what I'm trying to do, really. You've been involved with One Brave Night for, for many years. And can you tell us what you're doing uh, to raise money this year? Yeah, well, it started with last year where we decided because the, the One Brave Night was kind of based around doing something you love all night long. And because uh, I'm a musician and, a, and a, a singer, I said, okay, well, you know what we'll do? We'll collect, we'll collect sponsorships. I'll sit in my living room and we'll just play music, play tunes all night long. And people can sponsor us and we'll broadcast it on Facebook. And, and how was that? We'll see. It was, we had no idea how popular it was going to be. Like, I ended up going until about 3.30 in the morning until my voice finally gave out. But we had, th- even at that point, we had thousands of people on Facebook wow. watching it. Yeah, it was great. And we, we raised uh, over $20,000 last year for Same. that. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great. Uh, so when, after that, we got a phone call from uh, the Richmond Hill Center for the Performing Arts, which is an absolutely beautiful venue in Richmond Hill. And uh, they were like, hey, we want, on it. we want in on this. Let's do it here next year. When I picked myself up off the floor, we said, all right, let's see what happens. And, and they've been amazing. So we've got a great space there, beautiful uh, mm-hmm. theater with light, like the, the entire uh, uh, stage set up. Um, and we're doing a silent auction. We've got a huge amount of attention, and we're still broadcasting, obviously, on, on Facebook. Basically, we sold out the seats very, very quickly. So we're, we're very humbled by this whole thing, frankly. Amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. And of course, because One Brave Night this year, it's not overnight and it's over the course of, you know, a variety of days and, and weeks. We're still encouraging people to, you know, get together with friends. Absolutely. Show your hidden talents. Do whatever you want to get a group of people together and, and fundraise. And it's also amazing to see how your event, just from, you know, your house concert basically right. reached so many people and has grown so quickly. Absolutely. And that's what, uh, listen, I find that amazing. And, and you can see it happening everywhere. You know, there's there's many more people attached to One Brave Night this year. It was successful mm-hmm. last year. And, you know, it's something that I think everybody can do. Mm-hmm. Everyone's got some kind of hidden talent that they can exploit for themselves for uh, for a good cause. And that's what this is all about.